In this video, we are going to see the types of DNS servers. Before going to the video, subscribe to my channel In and Around Computer. Do you know what you are doing when you enter the domain name in your web browser's address bar? Indirectly, you are doing a submitting of a DNS request. I hope you already know what is a domain name system from the from our last video and. Uh, Next, your computer, uh, when you enter the domain name and hit enter, your computer will check whether it is already stored a DNS entry of the domain you submitted locally. If your a computer cannot find a matching IP address in your hosts, a host file or catch, that is host file is a plain text file that maps the host name to addresses, IP addresses in an operating system and a catch is a temporary data stored by a hardware or software component. So if it does not find the matching IP address in, the, in these, then it will submit your DNS query or request to the network of four DNS servers. That is, the, we have four uh, DNS uh, types of DNS servers that we can see them one by one. Now, uh, the four types of the DNS servers, that is a sequence of DNS servers for uh, solving or resolving uh, or mapping a particular domain name into an IP address involves a sequence of four uh, DNS servers. First one is the resolving name server, root server, root name server, then uh, TLD name server, then uh, the last one is the authoritative name server. And so these are the four uh, servers involved in solving this uh, particular domain name system. First, we can see the DNS resolver. That is the first type of the DNS server. This acts as the primary intermediary between a computer and other DNS servers. That is yeah, our first, our PC, our host first contacts the uh, uh, local ISP uh, providers DNS server that is also known as the DNS resolver that is it uh, this uh, particular server only takes the request from the user and then it uh, it also resolves the particular um, domain names IP at with the IP address and then it takes back the uh, IP address to the to our computer. So this is the primary intermediary between a computer and other DNS servers. And we can see that uh, in a sequence, when, uh, when the IBNS resolver receives a request, it will first search its cache to find a matching IP address for the domain name. If found, the request sent to the uh, DNS servers ends here. Uh, that's, uh, so the, if the request ends at this particular point. And so it, you can immediately see the site you may want to visit. So if the match is not found in the catch, so then the DNS resolver will send the request to the next DNS server that is the root name server that we can see in this uh, uh, diagram. And we can see now the role of the root name server. This uh, root uh, name server is the uh, my bank of reference, we can say. It doesn't keep the information you are looking for, which is the IP address to match the domain name, but it gives the directions to where it can be found. So once the uh, root name server re receives a request, it will identify the top level domain of the domain name. That is, uh, if, for example, google.com, then uh, .com is the top level domain. Uh, so then it will tell the re recursive resolver or the um, this um, DNS resolver to go to the correct TLD name server. So this is the role of the uh, root name server. And next uh, we can see what is what is the role of the TLD name server. This is responsible for storing and managing the information about domain names that use a specific top level domain. 
So if the query is to find the IP address of, uh, for example, hosting.com, the uh, root name server will uh, redirect the DNS uh, recurs recursive resolver to the .com TLD name server. DLB it is the top level domain name that is .com, .net, .org you can say. So next the TLD name server will inform the resolver about the location of the matching IP address at the specific authoritative name server. So this is the role of the TLD name server and it will um, inform uh, the resolver about the location of the matching IP address at the specific authoritative name server. So next we can see about the authoritative name server. This is the final authority in the uh, DNS resolution process and uh, this uh, authoritative DNS uh, stores all information related to the domain name you want to visit including its IP address. So the recursive resolver will obtain the, the, the IP address and send it back to the com your computer directing you to this particular site. So finally the domain name system resolver performs DNS catching storing the IP address collected from the authoritative name servers so that next time when you want to visit the same site it will simply send back the IP address match obtained before. So this is the uh, purpose of this DNS catching. So um, hope you will fully under you will be fully understanding the uh, sequence of four servers the how the request passes between these two servers and in resolving this um, uh, domain name to its particular ip address so this and all uh, these and all are the things that happens behind the uh, this dns uh, uh, servers so subscribe to my channel if you feel contented like and share my videos with your friends.